Okay, cool. We're alive. All right, what a fun day. I look like pretty. You look pretty good. <laughs> but you look pretty, exactly. You look pretty. <laughs> Were you about to say something not, something different? Oh, so you don't think you look pretty. All right. Uh, it's time for another mukbang. We'll see how things go today. Good evening, YouTube. It's me, your scumbag dad, with Hannah, my lovely wife. What? Oh, well done, well done. Yeah, first in chat. Wow, a lot of people love to click first. What's up, all 150 of you? It's a crazy week. We got four. We got three scumbag dad episodes coming. I was gonna do four, but I made a I made a narrative decision today. To, to combine two of them, and I, I'm still questioning that decision. And it's at the end of the new Stepdad one, because Scumbag Dad rolls in and he, he hits him, uh, and then he takes the kid to a ride, and then he abandons the kid in a line. And I, that was gonna be its own TikTok. Uh, it was gonna be its own short as well. Hey, it's my wife, say hi, sweet pea. Hi! All right. Hey, it's me, the scum child. Happy birthday, You may Ryan. not know me, but like this is my hands. Yeah, these are her hands. And we're doing, she made some delicious hot pot. Take a look at that. Threw in some garlic. Threw in some other, oh my goodness, wow. Hunter, wait a second. Hunter just rolled in and tipped us $99.99. I, did you do, is this, this can't be, is this, wow. <laughs> I have a weird feeling. Is that the same name? Like you did the same thing like a week ago? Crazy, crazy. You want a bite? Well, unfortunately we can't push it through the screen. My God, are we gonna see more of the therapist? Yes, you're gonna see more of the therapist. No special sugar for you. There's plenty of special sugar for dad and dad's friends though. Let's see if the meat's good. Mmm, it is. Is it? Mm-hmm. Oh wow. Good work, honey. Good. Oh, she picked a good one. Well, Hunter, I don't know what else to say other than you're great. You've got my attention. I can certainly send something over. Uh, just contact me on Instagram. And uh, I'll send postcards or some piece of merchandise or something. Because there's no way I'm going to let you just keep doing that and then rolling away. Special sugar, yeah. We got more episodes coming up. Uh, we're gonna be doing more uh, Star Wars themed stuff in the Star Wars park in Orlando. So I'm really, really excited to edit that. It's gonna take a little bit more time because I'm putting some real effort into this one. Uh, so <laughs> it's hot pot laced with some special spice for sure. My wife knows how to do this. Some chili oil in here. All sorts of stuff. Uh, when is the next short? Probably in about two or three days. Um, I'm going to be doing some editing. Oh, I was so obsessed with the big tip. I didn't say, hey, F-R-X-S-T-A-M-V. Well, thank you so much. Can I shout you out? Hey, how you doing, big mama? I do shout outs. I do all this stuff. You need therapy? Yeah, that's why we got you a therapist. Court-ordered therapist. We'll, we'll be putting her in quite a few episodes later on. She, she had fun doing it. She had no idea what, what to expect from doing a scumbag guy. As... Most people, I can't send you special cookies, but I can send you a postcard. Oh, you guys want to see the postcards? I'm back. Honey, I want to show them the postcards. What? Oh, yeah, do it. I think it's a hit. Oh. Look at this. If you, uh, <laughs> if you super cool. chat me and then contact me on Instagram, I will send you one of these. I don't have a ton of them, but I... Uh, I want to start sending them out. I, I send post. I used to send postcards out to my friends a lot. Maybe it was just me because people don't really send postcards too often. Um, in fact, part of the reason, part of the way I seduced my wife was by sending her postcards when I wasn't in town, and she was like, "What a, what a nice man." Little I knew you were sending. I was to like sending a lot people. of postcards. Eighty. People. Yeah, I had eighty people on my postcard list. It wasn't all girls, but it was. Uh, it was some girls. Uh, she plays the child. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad you think I'm awesome. When your mouth is leaking strawberry sauce, that sounds like you gotta go play at the hospital. 
It sounds um, like a you problem. It sounds like you problem. <laughs> hey, uh, thank you so much for the tip, Martin. So should roll into the Instagram DMs and say who you are, and I will uh, send you a postcard. And please don't lie. I, just because you saw him here doesn't mean you should pretend to be him in my Instagram DMs and like try to get a postcard. I mean, I'll send one to you. If you really want one, just say it. But I'd like to keep these for the people who are doing super chats because that's so, so nice. How long does it take to film? It depends on the episode. Um, usually it only takes us about two to three hours. I'm gonna grab those chopsticks. It only takes about two Here. to three hours to film. Oh. Or, um, and then like three, two, two and a half to three hours to edit, depending on the complexity of the shot. That's just average. Some of them have taken a really, really, really long time. Like really, thank you, Maple Sugar. Uh, I'll send you a postcard too. Well, the postcards will go worldwide too, by the way. So even if you're in uh, oh, a faraway place, I'm on it. I'm serious about postcards. Oh. Hmm. Amen. Thanks, Vieto. It says, I'm having lots of fun without you. Mm. You love the video? Yeah, Hannah's the one who's waving their ha her hands all the time. Mm -hmm. Don't smell my table. <laughs> I was in Florida without her this last week. And, um... I was having a lot of fun. I was having fun. But I we had to use other people to hold the camera other than Hannah. And it was just so weird because Hannah's so experienced and practiced at it that um, it's, just, it's just like anybody else isn't as good. <laughs> even me, even me holding the camera, I'm not as good. Some of the scenes, some of the scenes that you're, like one of the scenes in the current Scumbag Dad, the most recent one, is, uh, is me, I'm the hand. I'm the hand for a lot of that one. Yeah, just DM me. DM me, I'll roll through them this week. Mm. If you're domestic, and you don't see it in about nine days, and that means I messed up, and send me another DM. Because I, I send these pretty fast. Mmm. Scumbag Mom can't really come into the scene unless I know I'm going to wrap up the show. Because I feel like the presence of Scumbag Mom is like, in, is like a trigger point for, like, the lore and backstory of why they're not together anymore, and... Or it's like what really the mom important. Wants the kid. Yeah. Like, it's, uh, I think it's really like plays a huge role as a character who's not there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But she's there. Mm -hmm. We've only done like one really direct allusion to her. Um, but that's about it. And that's my intent. I just don't want to write myself into a corner by introducing a bunch of things about the mom. Scumbag brother? Well, the scumbag uncle. I'm gonna hold this up so people can see. There's scumbag uncle, so he's as close, but there can be scumbag siblings and cousins. You know, I'm limited by my resources. So whoever wants to join in can join in, and that's how we rock and roll. But it seems whenever I use younger people. Brad. Thank you. The video doesn't go as well. <laughs> but I don't want you. I, I try to stray away from using kids. But my best friend's kid always wants to be in him, and he's cool, so I put him in. I'll send to Australia. Hit me with that super chat. Send a DM through the Instagram, and you'll get one of these bad boys. It says, I'm having lots of fun without you. I'm not going to write anything nice in it. I'm just gonna be about how much fun I'm having without you around. Just so we're clear. Imagine someone sends two hundred dollars. Yeah, imagine this. I I never thought I'd come to the point in my life where I could eat food and people would think I'm so I'm worth any amount of money. <laughs> I'm trying to set up like a backpack to to live stream like out in the world in public. So, mm. don't hear smells. Stay away from special sugar. I feel like I should angle this so you can see my food. You should turn so people can see you more. I am. Hannah, Hannah thinks she's not as important. Well, now, now, I saw, I just see an email that rolled through to my website. 
Now my website, unless you said that you did a super chat, I'm probably gonna end up sending you a Synthrat postcard. Because the website is all Synthrat stuff. So if you really want a scumbag dad postcard, make sure I know. Mm. Do a lot of people know about Synthrat here? No. Mm. I mean Synthrat only worked like because like it's a form of mm. TikTok. So good. Why do I always eat, eat while live streaming? Honestly, it's just convenient. <laughs> it's, people pay attention more mm. for eating food because it looks like more like active, like lively. People like mukbangs. It's like more eventful. Yeah. I think that's what it is. I, I think- People I think, pay attention more. Yeah. I, th I think it's like, it, it's better. It's either this or like just me sitting in bed. Can I make my show inspired by yours? Look, if you want to give me, if you want to start an inspired show, I can't stop you. Go ahead. You know, I might, I might not, I might, um, um, I, I think that's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> if somebody started like a scumbag brother show, I mean, go <laughs> for it. I, I can't, I can't promise it'll take off. Um, but you know, by all means, if you want to like rip me off and, and do the same thing, go do it. I think that's cool. My entire project was a parody of Korean Dad. Stay strong, Luke. I'm always concerned when people ask me to say certain things and they're trying to make me say something horrible. I know. Basically, That's the darkness of the internet. Yeah, basically people like that ruined the internet a mm -hmm. lot actually. The phone of shout out and stuff, you know? It's not greatest doesn't want a shout out. It's just the people mm -hmm. that are like that. How old am I? I'm 39. Was it recognized in public? I was recognized in public by three different families in uh, Disney. So yeah, uh, I thought that was really cool. <laughs> I'm 39 years old. I don't lie about my age. I don't have the time. <laughs> and I know I'd get exposed for it anyways, even if I did. So I'm 39 year old. So yeah, keep keep those keep those uh, super chats rolling in. I'm gonna, a handwritten postcard from your scumbag dad reminding you that I don't care about what you're doing. Because <laughs> I don't. Um, at the very least, I'm honest. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna be one of those Internet personalities who pretends like, oh, I'm really interested. I'm just sending you a postcard to remind you that I'm having more fun. I care about you. Yeah, it's in tune with Scumbag Dad. <laughs> Thank you, Bryson. Shoot a DM. Mm, 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 mm. I love it. So, yeah, it was really crazy to be recognized by kids. Like Dan and Scott, my buddies. They had never seen me recognized in public before. Oh, and it, never? they never? No, they never because because we never when when I hang out with Dan Scott, we usually just no, stay at Scott Dan's house. Did. Scott did. Scott has like when you were in um, Des Moines when he was in Des Moines. Really? Yeah, there were a few people who recognized him. Remember? No, well, Dan had never seen him before, so it blew his mind. And I thought that was really cool because normally when I hang out with Dan, we write music at his house. We don't go out a lot. Hmm. I mean, it means like now your internet power, like hype is working. I mean, the hype is definitely there and it's pretty cool. Yeah, Hannah plays the kid in most of the episodes. She does a, a banger job. If ever if ever the hands don't seem about right, it's because I had to replace her for some reason. <laughs> Where I'm not traveling with yeah. him. Where I'm not with him at that time. Hey, it's me, your scumbag dad. We're here eating spicy hot pot. Hmm. So I've got a, a new music project I'm working on. It's going to be along the lines of Scumbag Dad style humor, but I think it's going to end up even more demented because it's going to be almost like a Sesame Street style show, like teaching lessons. It's so funny. Mm. It's actually very clever. And I'm impressed how talented, I mean, I, I always knew, but like, it's just like so impressive how talented you are. Oh, thank you, with sweetheart. music. Yeah. He's very oh, talented. That's he so just, sweet. He just tends to make a lot of like a com like comical music, mm -hmm. like that does like not the like sexy kind, like goes to mainstream. But he's very very talented. Mm -hmm. Thanks, baby. So she, um, what she's referring to is the first project Dan and I ever did that went pretty well was called Captain Dan and the Scurvy Crew. And it was rap music. Pirate! Themed as pirates. 
Did somebody say, uh, don't hug me, I'm scared? Yeah, actually, uh, big influence there. Bit huge. We'll probably get accused of ripping them off, in fact. Who? Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared is like a, a puppet show that's all demented. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's really good. Red. Mm. Now, if you see things out of order and you want the complete Scumbag Dad storyline, the compilations are chronological to the best of my knowledge. So right now they're all chronological. I want to shoot a fight with mob bosses this this weekend. So they get more and more powerful. Nobody's safe from Scumbag Dad and the Kid. Politicians, mob bosses, it's over. <laughs> There's a hop, hot, hot, very hot. Don't hug men's kid. We're not going to do a lot of gore stuff because we're gearing it towards the TikTok audience. But still, like, it's very, like, kind of dark humor. Yeah. My Instagram is scumbagdadofficial. So it should be <clears throat> in the beacons link in my bio. Just roll in there. Shoot me a message. <clears throat> um, I'll send you a postcard. The website... If you want a postcard, go through my Instagram, but I have a website, which is also in the link in my bio, with merch and a bunch of other nonsense. Hmm. We want to do behind the scenes, it's just a matter of, of staffing. Like, usually whenever we're shooting, everybody's got a job. And so, we can't, um, we can't sacrifice an actor or somebody who's, like, moving a prop or something to just have them hold a phone doing uh, behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, the child is becoming more powerful and, like, a more violent, basically. <laughs> They're not a full scumbag because they still have, like, a lot of naivety. But the kid, uh, as of last couple episodes, is starting to make their own decisions about, like, situations. And I think that's good. Hey, it's me, your scumbag dad. Hannah and I are super duper happy that you decided to join us for dinner. I think it's pretty cool. Isn't that cool? This time last year, I never would have imagined something like this would happen. I just realized I should, maybe I don't need to like talk at all. I just have to be like. Oh wow. In the live, that's kind of funny. No talk. Mm. I should just zip it, shut up. So like, or I should just like cook like this. Oh, maybe you should put on the helmet and then you do the cooking. Can I do the whole cooking like this? No, oh, wait, wait. What if we have you put on the helmet and you do the cooking? Is it funny? Kind of funny. Okay. They might not get the joke. Plus, you can't see the pot. <laughs> I think it's funny. <laughs> Hannah's behind the camera on a, a basically every video. So I'm just the hands. Mm -hmm. I'm just hands. She's good at it. <coughs> Spice. Hello, Trixo. It's my opinion on Hot Pot, I love it. Why does the kid not talk? It's to, to improve the immersion. You know, I don't want people, I don't want people to... I think it's to focus on you. It, the, the meaning is like it's to focus on the narration and the whole like interpretation of the feeling of the camera person. Like it's up to you how you feel. So like no dialogue. Yeah, yeah. so I feel like if we had dialogue then it immediately tells us things about the character. Like it'll, it'll probably say their gender, how they talk. And then I feel like also people won't they won't be able to sort of put them their shoes in the character. They won't won't put themselves in the character's shoes quite as easily because the character doesn't talk like them or like, doesn't sound like them. Or like whatever. it's about you, like your point of view as a camera, like to feel like like if you put the dialogue in, then the, then the the feeling is more like uh, manipulated. I think it won't be as good. Yeah, yeah, it manipulated to like to a certain way, but like now when there's no dialogue from the camera person, like the the child. And now, like, the person who's watching's perspective, and then they'll solely focus on the perspective of the person you guys are watching. So it's about you. I don't know if that makes sense. Well, at least, like, I don't know how he interpreted it. That's how I see it. I agree. Somebody asked me about Walt Disney World. I liked it. Um, Walt Disney World, when you go with your buddies to make content in the park and hang out, is pretty great. 
Honestly, it was a good time. It was expensive, but it was a good time. If you end up getting this postcard, you'll get one little drop of hot pot juice on it. Very special postcard. <laughs> oh my God, it's so funny. Mm. Wow, that will be the special one. This one is the special one. The one you're I, I would like to give it to Hunter because he was the biggest tipper. Uh-oh. What if people like start claiming they're the hunter? They probably will. They probably <laughs> will. But maybe that's what we'll do is we'll just put hot pot, hot pot liquid on all of them <laughs> to, make, <laughs> to make people think that it's special. So if you want this authentic postcard, I will drip hot pot soup on it so you know it was sent today. <laughs> Honey, what's in the hot pot? So chicken broth, chili oil, garlic, pepper. Chili oil, garlic. Um, I put. Thai chili pepper, you know those like tiny mm. th uh, pepper that are so spicy. And then I Bird drizzled, then I drizzled some uh, sesame oil mm. and some Korean soy sauce. Yeah, darn good. It's a it's a tip it's a type of Korean soy sauce. It's not like normal soy sauce, so mm -hmm. it's a special one. Mm. It's flavored. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. It's a little sweet one, that soy sauce, because it has a lot of... Is this Paul Smith? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't want to get any... This is brand new. I don't want to get any, like, hot pot soup on it, though. I know, but why are you I should be careful. It? Why am I eating? Because I like it. They're it's so like, funny. it's nighttime pajamas. They're so funny. Thank you from India. I will send you a postcard. I, I do have international um, postage. So I'll get it done. Might take a while to arrive, but I will get it done. What do you do full time for work? I'm an orthodontist. You're more veggie? Mm hmm. I fix teeth. I fix teeth. Uh, that's what I was doing today, most of the day. Hey, it's me, your scumbag dad. I'm hawking my postcards. I am having lots of fun without you. Your scumbag dad. Thanks for supporting your scumbag dad. Uh, you know what? The thing is with Walt Disney World is you could, I mean, you could have uh, a lot more, probably just the same, if not more fun in Vegas for less money. Um, but my buddy lives in Orlando and we hadn't gone to, you know, Disney. He hadn't gone to Disney like without his kids in ages. And, and we, had a, we had a great time, honestly. <laughs> well, that's true. Mm -hmm. We didn't bring the kids. Don't touch my special sugar. Stay away. Were kids sad? Hmm? We're not going. I think so. <laughs> so what? Really, were they like, what about us, Dad? I didn't hear them complain, to be honest. Mm. Maybe they're tired of Disney. Maybe they're tired of Disney, right? They had, they had season passes. That must be something. Danny told me that when he had a season pass, you just go to Disney casually. Like, you just walk through. You don't really care if you wait in line or anything. You get lunch, and then you leave. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it good? Yeah, this is tasty. 600? Do you mean 600 cakes? I think it, I broke 700k. Oh, congrats. Yeah, man, 700k. I'm going to get I'm going to get my uh, silver play button tomorrow. It should be arriving, yeah. You know what? Hey, you know what I was thinking? What if I wear it around my neck? What if I walk around with the silver play button? Like a flavor flavor? Yeah, like a like a flavor flavor. I, mean, I can't be the first person to do that. I can't be the first person to do that, you right? You know flavor flavor? Where is it now? I'm sure he's fine. Flavor Flav. Flavor Flav. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Flavor Flav. Yeah, Sad Sal is still in Disneyland. Sad Sal, we're going to see, hopefully we'll see more of him. That guy's Julio. He's a friend of ours. He's great. Mm, 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 mm. Flavor Flav is not fine? Oh, okay. I, I just assumed he was fine. Who's fine? Flavor Flav. No. Oh, what is he doing? I don't know. I thought he was retired. Yeah, so guys, I think I might ask my wife to attach my YouTube silver play button to a chain. And then I'll walk around with it. Why would you ask it. me? Well, why would I be in charge because, of that? Because you've got chains that you might want to throw away. So I'll do the okay, work? Okay, then I'll do it. You're so funny. Yeah, this is done. Okay, you can put the silver play button on a necklace. Okay, yay. So... I'm just going to walk around with it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what's this? You mean this? Yeah, we're married. Don't use my Nerf gun. If you use my Nerf gun on somebody, you're going to be 
playing Nerf War with the local police soon. And that's uh, not a good way to go to sleep for a long time. Hannah's behind the camera. Prank the president. We've, uh, we've got a plot line for that. Pranking the White House is definitely like an option. They're going to prank everybody. Nobody's safe. It's just like the Fast and the Furious, how it started so like, so I guess humble and normal, and then it slowly became it, no, it blew movie. up because of the song. I swear to God. And then it's a time like where they were like so into Japanese thing, you know. Mm. And then the song, oh, not Tokyo, oh, mm. Fast and Furious, that song, mm -hmm. down, 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 mm -hmm. down, down, you know. Mm -hmm. That song catchy as hell. You really it's think? Too popular. It's that song that did it. Yeah, like that's literally all people were listening yeah, back right. then. When it came out, that song was just like everywhere. Please say the line. Somebody say please say the line. Of course. Hey, it's me, your scumbag dad. Here we're gonna eat dinner, and I'm gonna send postcards to people and tell them I don't care about them. How does she use both hands when we film? It's attached to her head. It's great. It's a really workable system. I love I love the way we, we've sort of refined things since, you know, Scumbag Dad's only been alive since March of last year. The Scumbag Dad project turns one year old in March. That's Can it. you believe that? We've only been doing Scumbag Dad since March. Nuts, right? One year? Mm -hmm. and that's it? Thanks for the tip, two bucks, woo! That's pretty incredible, mm -hmm. honey. Honey, do you want one, one more or no? I'm starting to, I'm starting to get full. Do you want this, I'm good. this I'm or good. no? No, I, I would say no. No more. Because we're doing rice too, right? No. No, okay. This is it. Yeah, it's, it's almost Scumbag Dad's sort of creative, technical creative birthday. Wow. Are you, I know, are right? You gonna, how are you going to celebrate? I don't know. We should do a one year special. Yeah, we should. March? We should do a one year special. Yeah, like something, agree. something really... You know what? It, we could just remake the first episode, but like have it have you know obviously like like do a callback. How? Well, well, the first episode, Scumbag Dad just took chicken wings from the kid and made the kid pay the bill. Excuse me. This, I mean, he could take chicken wings from the kid, and then the kid could fight back. Because the kid, oh, the, kid the kid now, the kid changed. now fights. You know what oh. I mean? So the kid could take the wing from him, and now it shows how they're more buddies. Like, you'd be like, ah, you little sucker! You know what I mean? Maybe. I think that's probably the, the easiest way to do it. What do you think? What do you think, YouTube audience? Yeah, I think it would be very, like, telling if, if the kid takes wings from the dad. Or um, something where it's not just the dad abusing the kid anymore. Because that's what the beginning season was like. It was just a, a truly negligent father. Uh, how do I decide when to have a well just accept that episode? Honestly, it's whenever I see Dan. <laughs> <laughs> People think whenever I... he visits uh, Florida. That's what it is. Yeah. Is it South Florida? Is he? He's in Central Florida. Central. So... We, we plan our episodes around what we know we're about to do. So if I know I'm going to visit Dan, I think about a way to do well just the stepdad. If I'm going to visit, uh, we're going to visit our friends in L.A., we're going to try to use Chunky's dead. We're going to try to use our friends that we're going to see anyways. You know what I mean? Going with the army we have. Yeah, we, we, we go to war with the army we have. That's kind of that's how we roll. Should you donate? Look, if you guys don't have any cash, I'll send you a free synth rat postcard. I'll send you a free synth rat postcard. It won't be scumbag dad because I don't have that many of them. But if you want like a piece of sort of, you know, merch, um, just go to my website, bradpadre.com. Oh, and, 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 and follow my Spotify. <laughs> I have a Spotify like playlist of all the different projects I've done. So that doesn't cost any money. You guys send me a postcard, see? This one got it, this person got it. So they do exist, they are real and um, you know, some people put them on their fridge. Watch, he's, a, he's our hired person that who's like typing. Mm. Yeah, he's a shill. <laughs> I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I have no morals. <laughs> well, he does send it out. 
I do look, I got, I got tons of these. I, well, not tons of these ones, but tons of Synthrat ones that I found. I thought I was dumb, but I was wrong. Um, so Star Wars, you, we actually, it, he's going to be called Maladjusted Stepdad. So that's already been a plot that, we, that we've rolled through. You're so on point on that one, and you're two days after we already discussed it, so I wonder if you were there. So, so well-adjusted stepdad keeps on getting abused, but in the event he takes a bad enough hit, he's going to come out and he's going to have a scar on his eye, and now he's maladjusted stepdad. Mal? Yeah, maladjusted stepdad. So he's, he's, he's well-adjusted stepdad, but crazy. And so we haven't really figured out... Uh, isn't that funny? That's why. I thought he was going to be maladjusted stepdad in Disney because of the special sugar addiction. But we didn't... Like, I wanted... I want to give maladjusted stepdad, like, his own arc. His own entire, like, action scene where maladjusted... I think that's... I think that's very, uh, elegant idea. Yeah. Where Scumbag Dad has to stop him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's a very, um, well-refined idea, I would mm -hmm. say. Mm -hmm. And Dan is... A, and well-adjusted stepdad is a beloved character. Everybody freaking likes him. <laughs> He's great. Yeah, well-adjusted stepdad is so beloved... No. Such a beloved character. Out of all. I think there were so many characters that was brought in. Yeah, people like Big Ziggy. People like well just accept that. People like Scumbag Uncle, even though he's always a villain. But yeah, Big Ziggy because like he has such a Because he like, has a good he's he a good has a and, look. And style, yeah. He has such like that style. You you should use uh what's his name more often also? Um Sean. Name? Sean. Well, we're gonna be using Sean. We're gonna be using Sean soon. Uh, Sean. What was Sean's character? Sean was the crystal dealer. Hey, it's me, your dad's special crystal dealer. He did such a good job like that, making like, hey, it's me. Dude, donate whatever you can, shoot me a DM. And if you don't want to donate at all, just go to the website and, and ask for a rack card. There's a thing on my website that says rack cards. Just do it. It'll take a while, but it'll happen. That's the last of it. My wife does sell men's clothes. So they ask me about your clothing for boys. These goes up to size like um, 5X large, I believe. Um, most of them go up to size 3X large. Mm. And it's most of them unisex. Although I didn't use a lot of men as a model, but um, a lot of my clothing, especially t-shirts, those are all mm -hmm. unisex clothing. Oh, the best seller is a uh, black uh, cadaver. Cl uh, sorry, cadaver black. That's my best seller. Uh, I did really like. Mm -hmm. I I had like a spike of the sale during the Halloween mm -hmm. during October, and still is like one of the most popular items. I think it's because black, and then has a, like my drawing that looks like very Asian style on it. Mm. Yeah, it's like basically it's like a like skeleton drawing, but like Asian style. So I think that's my the best sailor. All right, we're wrapping up dinner. Hey, it's me, your scumbag dad. About to go off. Get off. Get off of this. Hey, what's up, my mod Sam? The website bradpadre.com, B-R-A-D-P-O-D-R-A-Y.com. Look for where it says rat cards. Um, uh, my wife's website is also all these are in my link tree are in the beacons link in my bio You can look at her merchandise uh, Look at her website look at her art. Uh, she's very very good uh, She does play the kid um, We got lots of stuff coming up for you uh, And hopefully I can answer <laughs> More questions next time So another uh, Successful live stream. Another uh, humble live stream. So stay tuned for yeah. Stay tuned for more um more wild scumbag action. Goodbye.